The problem with trees being planted too deep, it's so prevalent, it's, it's almost in every landscape that we go into, there are examples of trees being too deep. And the primary reason for that is that trees come to homeowners, landscape contractors, in containers very similar to this. This is a little Japanese maple. It is grown in the container, and when we get it on the job site, the problem is that the tree is already too deep in the root ball in the container because of the growing practices. Unless you make a very deliberate effort to remove the soil, you'll plant this tree too deep. Most people assume that this is the proper planting level, the soil level in the container. But the reality is that this tree is already too deep in the ball. And the reason for that is the growing practices. The grower doesn't start the tree in this container, but actually starts it in a smaller container. Here's a uh, two gallon container. It probably began in a container before this. It was a very small tree. It grew to the size of that container, and then they moved it up to this size container, and ultimately to this size container. And then beyond this, they actually grow trees up into several hundred gallon containers now. So. Uh, Every time they move it from the small container to the next container to the next container, they actually plant it a little bit deeper than the, they should, and as a result, when it gets to the final container, it can be two, three, four, five inches or more too deep in the container. When you go to plant a tree, you're going to pull it out of the, the container. And you can see this illustrates where, where we're talking about. We've got root tissue here. The tissue of these roots is totally different than this. So what we want to do is make sure that we remove all of the soil from up on the aerial tissue. And what you're going to see me do is pretty dramatic, and very few people would think about doing this. But what we want to do is totally take the top portion of this ball off. And again, this looks a little bit scary to people. But the tree really will do much better if you'll take all of this off and get down to the native natural root flare of that plant. Another problem that we're trying to prevent is the existence of circling or girdling roots. There's some small roots right here on top uh, that if left like that, uh, they will eventually girdle or choke the, uh, the stem of this tree. So as we uncover and remove the soil from the aerial tissue, we're also attempting to remove any encircling roots. When we come to these small roots like that, we actually want to go in and make sure that we remove those with snippers or with our hand we might be able to just pull them out. But you want to remove See, there's another one down below there that if left in place will eventually cause a restriction on that tree. So you want to keep on going down, removing any encircling roots that you come to. You take those out of the way. And here you can see we're beginning to see where the native flare of this tree is. Right there's the first flare that we're seeing. Be a little bit bold remove that soil and all these little roots here, we can take those off, cut them off before you plant up at the top. What happens during the growing process, and this illustrates it, when it was stepped up from the different containers, you use a very light, arid soil. And as that soil is added there, these roots grow up into it and you almost get an inverted root system. Instead of the root system going down and out, it almost comes back up and rolls back over the top of the ball and that covers the aerial tissue. If you plant the tree too deep, it doesn't mean that it will die necessarily. Many trees do, but it just weakens them to the point that they're not going to be as healthy and vigorous, they won't grow as fast, you'll have off-color leaves, you'll have a lot of the secondary problems that we've talked about earlier, the aphids, the powdery mildew, the fungal leaf spot, a variety of issues 
are related to the condition of the base of the tree. So it's very important to take these corrective steps prior to planting the tree. We often hear people say, well, just plant, uh, be sure to plant your tree a couple of inches high. Unless you remove the soil, planting the container or the ball a couple of inches too high will not correct the problem. Uh, you want to remove that soil and then after that, it's a good idea to plant it a couple of inches too uh, higher than the, the, the grade of the grass or the surrounding areas because you'll have some settling, some other things that might cause some uh, problems down the road. But you have to remove the portion of the ball that is covering the aerial tissue to correct the problem.